Hello everyone, I'm Stephen Fox. Welcome to my channel. Artificial intelligence is literally carrying the stock market, the artificial chip stocks especially. My NVIDIA and Super Microcomputer have been doing outstandingly well, and the others have been doing well too. It's just those two have just blown the doors off this market and are just keep screaming higher. A super Microcomputer is now hitting 700 and is threatening to surpass NVIDIA, so maybe it is the next NVIDIA. I'm going to be going over those, plus I'm going to be going over two additional technology stocks that I bought that will probably benefit from artificial intelligence, as all technology stocks are pretty much benefiting from artificial intelligence. Google just came out with Gemini, which is a rebranded version of Bard, and it's going to cost about the same as Chat GPT. They're both a around $20 if you want the premium version, but they do have a free version that you can use. Google says that their Gemini does more complex logical reasoning and is better at coding. So they think they have the upper hand with this product. They're not the first mover, but they're claiming that they're the better mover at this point. It is outstanding that the stock market uh, keeps going up. And I think the main thing is that we do not have the fear of deflation that China does. China is in deflation. I think they're in recession. They're at risk of going into a depression. You do not want deflation. Uh, inflation is a problem. Deflation is a problem nightmare. If we have to choose between the two, it's better to take a little inflation than to go into deflation, which is very hard to stop. And China is having a hard time stopping it their prices are actually dropping. The main thing for the economy in general is that oil is staying in the 70s, the mid-70s, and I hear that the United States is going to be filling up the strategic reserve, uh, which will increase the price of oil somewhat. They don't expect it to go up to, to $100 or anything. Uh, it's been staying in that $70 to $80 range for a long time. Uh, so that's been some relief. And I think the jobs numbers are good and artificial intelligence is adding a boost of its own. And it does well even on the days that the stock market isn't doing that great. Insight, symbol, and SIT recently signed a strategic partnership agreement with Microsoft so that it could offer cloud solutions to clients. My impression with them is that that's what they do. They help corporations set up their information technology network, offer them various solutions to how they can better run their IT department. I have watched Insight for years, but now it seems like the price is taking off. They have a good price to earnings, and it seems like they're ready to spring forward, especially with this strategic partnership with Microsoft. Looking at the chart, it looks like they're having a breakout. If you look at the three-month chart, three months ago, they were about 145, and on Thursday in the aftermarket, they hit 192. They're definitely in a breakout. Their price to earnings is only 16, and they have a decent earnings growth rate of 16%. So this is an undervalued technology stock in my world. Technology usually is at least in the 20s. So if you get one that's around 16, I think you're getting a bargain. The 16% earnings growth rate isn't all that impressive, but it's decent enough. And I expect it to grow with this partnership with Microsoft. Insight is an undervalued stock as its price right now is around 190 but its value is closer to $245. So we got a ways to go up with this one. Another hot stock is Vertiv. Vertiv Holdings, symbol VRT. They supply electrical IT equipment to data centers. Vertiv is a larger company than Insight. Vertiv is about $23 billion market capitalization, while Insight is only about $6 billion. Looking at the chart, you can see Vertiv has 
has gone up about from $40 to $61 in the last three months. And its price to earnings is about 28 which is not that bad for a technology company. It's typical for technology companies to be well into the 20s. So I, I'm not worried about it being at 28 And its earnings growth rate is 34%, which is excellent. And in a breakout like this, a breakout rally like we're having in the stock market, especially with artificial intelligence and technology, the earnings growth rate usually is more important than the price earnings. And that 34% is very good. Uh, so I would favor VRT at this point, although I'm going to hang on to Insight at this point as well, because it's eventually going to come into its own, especially with that partnership with Microsoft. And then we want to look at my fabulous five artificial intelligence stocks, which are NVIDIA, Advanced Micro Devices, ASML, and Broadcom, which is AVGO, and Super Microcomputer, a good old SMCI, which is storming right up there and threatens to go past NVIDIA. So maybe it is the next NVIDIA. And looking at the chart, Advanced Micro Devices, AMD, has lost uh, less than 1%. It was 0.7% loss is all. And then ASML has made about 3%. Broadcom AVGO has made about 6%. NVIDIA has made about 10%. And Super Microcomputer in five days made almost 20%. My experience is that it's usually a mistake to get out of these breakouts too soon. You want to ride it as long as you can and rely on your stop limit orders to bail you out. Thank you for listening.